Galeazzi fracture. What is Galeazzi fracture? How do we treat it? Introduction. Galeazzi fracture is a fracture of the distal third of the radius with disruption of the distal radio ulnar joint. The dislocation is usually dorsal. The fracture is always located above the proximal border of the pronator quadratus. The pronator quadratus rotates the distal fragment towards the ulna and pulls it proximally. So what we usually do, we fix the fracture radius and we evaluate the distal radio ulnar joint for instability after we fix the distal radius. If you have instability, make sure that the joint is reduced, then you will do percutaneous fixation of the joint. But if you don't have instability, you will do nothing or maybe long arm splint in spination if you think the patient needs the splint. Basically, you need intraoperative evaluation of the distal radio ulnar joint. Distal radio ulnar joint injury. Not all distal radial fractures will be associated with distal radio ulnar joint instability. They found that if the radius fracture is less than 7.5 cm from the joint, then the distal radio ulnar joint can be unstable. If the fracture radius is more than 7.5 cm from the joint, then the distal radio ulnar joint will be rarely unstable. So the closer the fracture radius to the joint, the more likely the distal radio ulnar joint is involved and we need to work diligently to find the problem and address it. The problem can be instability of the distal radio ulnar joint. So how do you know that the distal radio ulnar joint is unstable? You may find an ulnar styloid fracture, or you find that the radius is short, about 5 mm or more. In the AP view of the rest, you find widening of the joint, or in the lateral view, you find the ulna goes dorsally or volally. The distal radio ulna joint has ligaments, volar and dorsal, that stabilize that joint, and that joint is usually stable in supination. Sometimes in old, complicated, difficult cases, Sometimes you can't really evaluate the distal radio ulnar joint without getting the CT scan of both rests. Make sure you position the rest in the same position. So what is the treatment? Anatomic reduction and fixation of the radius with a volar plate. Then you assess the stability of the distal radio ulnar joint. If the distal radio ulnar joint remains unstable, supination of the rest may reduce that joint. If not, either a close reduction or open reduction with pinning of the joint is done. If after anatomic restoration and plate fixation of the radius, the distal radio ulnar joint remains irreducible, then the structure that's most likely obstructing the reduction is the extensor carbi annaris. It is imperative to recognize the problem of Galeazzi fracture, which is the distal radio ulnar joint injury. The treatment of the problem acutely is better than late reconstruction. When you fix the radius, make sure the radial bow is restored. Another point will be reduction and destabilization of the distal radio ulnar joint. 
How do you do reduction and stabilization of the distal radio ulnar joint? The reduction is done by supination of the forearm and you do immobilization and supination if the distal radio ulnar joint is stable following open reduction of the distal radius. So the obvious injury that you see, you will test that injury and see if the joint is stable in supination. And if it is, keep the forearm in supination. You will do pin fixation if the joint is reducible but is unstable. The pin fixation will be done by cross pinning from the ulna to the radius and leave the pins for about four weeks. You can do open reduction of the joint if the joint is not reduced and something is blocking the reduction, such as the extensor carbi and nares tendon. If there is a large ulnar styloid process fracture, you probably need to open that fracture after you fix the radius and then do open reduction and internal fixation of the large ulnar styloid fragment and immobilize the forearm in supination. It might be difficult to evaluate the stability of the distal radio ulnar joint. In general, the DRUJ is stable in most cases after anatomic reconstruction of the radius. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.